Millions and millions of people, Oklahoma, uh, North Dakota, many states, uh, we have — we're at $40 a barrel, and yet you can buy gasoline for under $2. Nobody's ever seen like that. So we have the biggest energy in the world. We're number one in oil, as you know, oil and gas, by far. We're now number one in the world. And we would have had millions of people out of work. I saved it. And then they say, I'm leading by one point in Texas. They said it last time, too. They said, Texas is too close to call. This was like three months before the election. And then I won Texas in a blowout. They called it the minute the polls closed. They said that about Utah. They said that about Georgia. They said the same thing. That Georgia's, oh, we can't — it's too close. They'll never be able to determine. We'll have to wait till election night. On election night, uh, two seconds after the poll closed, they called Georgia. So, you know, it's the same thing. We have the same thing. They're phony polls. They're suppression polls. But to think that uh, after saving the oil and gas business and millions and millions of jobs — I'm leading Texas by one point? I don't think so. Go ahead. Is the, is the China uh, phase one deal still intact, or is it uh, — do you see it in jeopardy? It's intact. Intact? it's intact. But I'm uh, — I'm, uh, I think what China has done to the world with what took place, the China plague, you can call it the China virus, you can call it whatever you want to call it. It's about 20 different names. Uh, what they did to the world should not be forgotten, but it's intact. They're buying. Whether they buy or not, that's up to them. They're buying. Yes, Mr. President, uh, Los Angeles just announced that they are delaying the opening of their schools. New York already said they were going to delay them. Other school districts are giving parents the choice whether to send their kids to school or not. What do you tell parents who look at this, who look at Arizona, where a school teacher recently died teaching summer school? Parents who are worried about uh, the safety of their children in public yeah. schools. Yeah, schools should be opened. Schools should be opened. If the kids want to go to school. You're losing a lot of lives by keeping things closed. We did the right thing. We saved millions of lives. We saved millions of lives when we did the initial closure. Had we not done what we did, we would have had two to — Mike and I were talking about it before — two to three million lives lost. Uh, but we did that. So we're at about 135,000, and we'll be at somewhat higher than that by the time it it ends. Uh, and again, the vaccines are happening and the therapeutics are happening, but I'm not even talking about that. So we'll be at a somewhat higher. But we would have lost two million, three million lives had we not done it. Uh, now we understand it. Also, we understand there are certain vulnerabilities. Young children. I was with uh, talking to Governor Murphy. And uh, they have thousands of lives. I won't even say how many. Just thousands of lives. Hard to believe in New Jersey. And he said there was only one life that was 18 or younger. One person died, and that was a person, a young man, that had some medical difficulty. Uh, so when you think of that with thousands of lives, and you have one person that was under 18, uh, that's something that tells you, for some reason, I guess the immune system is much stronger with young people. Uh, than it is for others. So we have to watch uh, the group that does have the difficulty, does have the problem. We all know what that is. We all know who they are, especially if they have a medical problem. If they have a medical problem, diabetes or heart or anything, uh, it's, a, it's a big problem. But we're being very careful. But we have to open the schools. Would you agree with that? Do you agree? Yeah. We have to open the schools. We have to get them open. And uh, I think there's a lot of politics going along. I think they think they'll do better if they can keep the schools closed in the election. I don't think it's going to help them, frankly. But I think they feel that by keeping schools closed, that's a bad thing for the country, and therefore, that's a uh, good thing for them. But uh, they're the ones whose city's burning. I mean, can you imagine if the country was run like Chicago and like New York and like some of these other Democrat super radical left cities are run, uh, you wouldn't have a country for very long. And the economy would crash. So we just set a brand new record today on NASDAQ again. This is now, I think, the 18th time since, and this is since after the problem. So we have a new stock market high for NASDAQ, and the other ones are getting very close. When I came here, the stock market was up almost 500 points today. The economy is rebuilding. Jobs are being produced at a record pace. We've never had a pace like this. And I will tell you, if uh, Biden got in, this economy would be destroyed. You know, he was in — he was in office for 48 years, and what he did was not great. 
Almost every decision was a wrong decision. And now he's going to come in and try and help us. We didn't need any help. We built the greatest economy in history, greatest economy we've ever had, the greatest economy the world has ever seen. And then the plague came in from China, and we started all. We did the right thing. We had to close it down. Now we're opening it up. He can't do it. He doesn't have the capability to do it. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck with everything.